Deputy uh, Kalrivi. Michal Kalrivi is Sanam Dunsa. I live in the northern half of the politically divided county of Leitrim in the Sligo North Leitrim constituency, Can Corda. On proposed legislation, I note that the government proposed to reduce the number of Doyle deputies, and obviously that is going to mean uh, a redrawing of the constituency boundaries. It was wrong that Leitrim was split. It was wrong then. And the fact that I won a seat against the odds, and I living in the county of Leitrim, does not right that wrong. Can I ask the Taoiseach to give an assurance that the terms of reference of the Boundary Commission will be changed to ensure that low population counties like Leitrim can no longer in future be politically divided. Thank you very much. Because it is the deputy's maiden speech, I congratulate him on his election as well. Uh, having, ha having had to swim against the tide uh, in Leitrim, you are to be congratulated. Obviously, uh, com independent commissions who draw up constituency boundaries based on a census of population figures um, are given a remit. Uh, but there is no interference from the political process after that. Obviously, no matter where you start in the country, there are knock-on effects. I know, having met many of the people in Leitrim, of their concern that the county was divided. Uh, any county uh, that loses portion of its uh, of its traditional ground, as it were, to another county, it causes it causes some difficulties for people uh, at electoral time. But you can't give any guarantee that you're going to get a specific result from whatever commission is appointed based on the, on the, um, on the census of population figures when they're, when they're available. But you do take into account uh, the, uh, the point that the deputy makes about um, a small county with a small population uh, being divided, but then you have proven to be the exception to the rule.